Hi, this is uh, Wirtec and uh, Gristle uh, again, and uh, what I wanted to talk to about today is um, an interesting material. It's called uh, Laser Gem, and so I'm going to try to show a, a, a slab of it. And, and right now it's under, um, I've got a little light source here, but it's a fluorescent bulb. But if you look at it, it uh, looks pretty blue. Um, the interesting thing about Laser Gem is that if you are under a uh, fluorescent bulb, it's blue, and then if you transition over to sunlight or an incandescent bulb, it turns kind of purple. And so it, the, this color shifting property of it is something that I find kind of interesting and, and, and kind of cool in a way. Um, the material itself, it's called laser gem, and you can find this at uh, rock shops, and, and you can find this material at some of the rock shows, but the material itself actually is, it literally was, um, a material that uh, was used in laser filtering. So um, the material in it is neodymium. And so I've got a couple weird examples here, or interesting examples, hopefully. Here is um, uh, kind of like a gemstone. And, and the reason I make gemstones is because, um, whereas arrowheads are really interesting to boys, um, little girls, you know, they're just not nearly as interesting as, say, a gemstone. And so um, I actually have a little bit of fun with... Uh, the kids that I run into because what you do is you you present this gemstone and of course you got to make a story to go along with it right and when I shape these things I try to make it look like a round cut or or um, you know kind of an interesting hexagonal cut or square cut or whatever you know to give it kind of a little bit of realism and of course I, I try to peel off all the, the little uh, hinges and things like that but when I shape these uh, these guys um, it's basically flake over grind, and, and to get the most color possible, you have to make it really thick, and so this is, you know, I mean, it's pretty clunky looking, and it's it's kind of uh, like the points I made when I first started. Um, but what you tell, you know, what I do is I, I basically present these at you know, um, with a fluorescent light source, and they're blue, and I say, hey, what color is it? And it's blue, and then, of course, I make up a, a silly story, and I say, well, they, they say it turns purple when there are pixies or, or fairies around, and so, it, I don't know, it just makes it kind of fun, and, and, and of course, it gets me in a lot of trouble with the, uh, the parents that I know, <laughs> because um, if you uh, present these at night, it's all of a sudden, uh, you know, during the next day, there's pixies in, uh, you know, in the garden, and you have to dig them up, so <laughs> it can be pretty... Uh, pretty bad after the fact but you know I don't know in some ways it's it's nice just to have a little uh, silly magical story to go along with it but because little boys love arrowheads and little girls really don't um, I was trying to think of an interesting way of, of taking the flint napping hobby and and making it more fun for uh, you know little girls um, and so this is basically my my uh, idea invention or whatever but it's silly. It's a little, you know, so it's a little magical stone that detects pixies, fairies, whatever, whatever's in vogue these days, and uh, and that's about it. And so, um, you know, it's, it's, I don't know, just sort of a silly thing to do, really, I suppose. But, um, I don't know, on some level, I think it's kind of nice to have a, a little magic in, in a little kid's lives. And so, um, I got this thing started uh, basically when I was volunteering at the uh, Domestic Violence Center here in town, and I was roped into it because uh, one of my coworkers said I was a nice person. Whoops. Um, so I did that for a while, and then um, uh, I started making these things because I noticed the little girls didn't really care for them all that much. And I thought, well, there's got to be something kind of cool I can give some of the nicer kids that, you know, help out and, and that sort of thing. So I started making these guys. Um, initially, I started making hearts, and, uh, uh, you know, the hearts are kind of cool, but... Um, these are certainly a lot easier to shape, and I only make hearts for, for you know, special kids that, uh, you know, lost a parent. Um, it's just kind of a thing that I've done. So I just wanted to show an example of uh, neodymium glass, uh, a rare earth glass, and what it can do, and, uh, you know, how it can change shift colors depending on the light source that you've got. You know, so if you're in the kitchen here, it's, it's blue, um, and then when you transition to outside, it's, uh, it shifts over to something that's a little more purple. So... Um, anyway, that's it. Just thought it was kind of a cool, weird little thing to do. And, and if you ever pick up some neodymium glass, uh, maybe instead of making a big knife or an arrowhead out of it, just make a little gemstone for uh, one of the little kids that you know. Anyway, that's it. Thanks. Bye.